in for you. The crackdown on unpaid water bills is now on hold. Detroit's Water and Sewerage Department is suspending its shutoffs for about two weeks, effective immediately. That's right. Let's go straight to 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi. Andy, did the weekend's protest prompt any change on this matter? Yeah, Jeff, you can't deny the outside influence, the pressure brought on by protesters, but it was actually bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes who wanted the city to address this in a more productive manner. And the 15-day pause means more people going into this building have more time with the bills in their hands. I like everybody else in the city, man. I'm getting shut off notice for my water. I'm trying to get it took care of so that I'm not you know, waterless. Standing in the sun outside Detroit's water and sewerage customer service center, these Detroiters could use a cold glass of water, a lot more refreshing than the red lettered papers in their hands now. $215 shut off notice. This, the, oh, your balance is yeah, at $659. Already, already. As the debate over water reaches a boiling point, DWSD says it's now putting a 15 day pause on all future shutoffs. This is just to get information out to our customers that may be having affordability issues so that we can give those customers a chance to come in and so that we give them a little time and so that they won't lose services. The city will now focus on rechecking homes that have already been shut off. Crews tell us about half of their checks revealed the water has been turned back on illegally. Now take a look at this community chalkboard in the Brightmore neighborhood, directing families without water to Billy Hickey's home. One young man comes by pretty regularly, almost every day. He has like three jugs that he puts in a backpack. And it's uh, drinking water for them. Well, I think we're going into a third world direction with people sharing water in this city. As for the city's shut off pause, what do you think of the 15 days? Is it enough to get things together? No, I don't think so. I think that this should be a lot more time because this problem has been in the city forever. Luckily, I'm, I'm, I'm well off enough to where I could come and I could pay, but it's a lot of people that aren't. They got children. And so there's a great sense of injustice. And along with those 15 days, an aggressive campaign to let families know about the assistance available. There's a water fair coming up August 2nd at the East Side Community Center. Reporting live on the city's east side, Andy Chor, 7 Action News. And I understand this morning that the city had to go before the judge, correct, and tell them of some, or tell the judge rather, of some of the efforts to help people who are having a hard time paying their bills? Exactly. You know, Judge Rhodes said this was a PR disaster for the city. A lot of people around the country, around the world, knowing about this situation, the judge wanted to see if there was more that can be done to help communicate to families that there are assistance available. Instead of going that illegal route, use that money to try and work a plan out with the city. All right, good. Andy Choi, thank you so much for the update.